Hi. So, another day, another game. But the problem is, when you have too many games, you never know what to play. Do you play this or that? So, uh, yeah, I finally narrowed it down to a few. These top few games. Not this one. And uh, I decided, let's knock out Death Row to Canada. It's a fun little roguelike. And let's see how far we can get. Let's see if we can reach the end. So yeah, that's the problem with too many games. You never know what to play when you want to play something. And end up spending more time looking at what game you want to play than actually playing the game. Forgot how loud the music was in this game. Uh, let's start a new game. Let's, let's use these characters. Okay, so now we've got a martial artist and a someone with health care. So, yeah, we're going to be playing on normal death road mode because the other modes are going to take too long. Okay. Wonder what happens if I hit another. So yeah, through the game you drive around, you're on your journey to Canada, and you need to make sh uh, make some stops at different locations. You need to choose between one of the locations. Uh, it will all be at a different time of day or density of zombies. So you always need to take into account what it's going to look like to make sure that you're ready for it. Sometimes it's just best to run away and leave everything behind. There's too many zombies. Or if things get too intense. Because you might end up dead. Unfortunately, uh, I never know when to make that choice. So, yeah. You need to work your way through the zombies. Try and find uh, different types of loot. Some fuel, some food. Also get health packs. Uh, also get some bullets. Uh, for that you can use with different guns. are shining you know you haven't been in there and there might be some loot uh, nothing else yeah, just some toilet fuel great and yeah it just depends on luck what you might find you might find some people you might find some nice weapons in this one we found some food and um, almost died so let's swap characters since I don't have a good weapon and Kid doesn't need a good weapon, he can just use his fists. Martial arts, yeah. Okay, let's make our way out. Find the car. Get in and there we go. Nice. Okay, let's go on. So yeah, there's so many games and so many new games coming out, but the problem is I keep wanting to play the old games. I want to replay the games that I've already played. Oh, come on. I want to replay the games that I've already played. And there's still so many games that I haven't played that I still want to play before I play the next game. Oh, I should have had Bay read that. But okay. Maybe a kid's gonna be the hero of the story. Camp supplies, let's go. Sometimes you find bigger areas with a few different houses to go into. 
and then you need to make your way. Ooh, nice. And we rusted machete. You don't need to kill all the zombies, you just need to make a way for yourself to get through. But if you don't kill enough zombies, you will get surrounded on your way out. So you also need to make sure that there's not too many zombies hanging around. Ah, gotta take care of those bees. We've got a nice big beehive living in our roof. And at first it was fine, but they're starting to get a bit hectic. Too many times that we've stepped on a dead bee now. And yeah, we need some people to come get it. Just hold on a second, let's kill these zombies, and then... Okay, right back. And we're back. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I am busy watching my son and his cousin. So, uh, I'm probably going to take a couple of breaks during this video just to check on them and make sure everything is still fine. So let's get back to this. Oh, zombies, get them. Anything in here? Bullets, some med packs. Well, a med pack. Food. Need a lot of med packs and food. Those are the things that you run out of the quickest when you need them the most. Okay. Where are we actually supposed to head? Is that it? Okay, let's get going. So there's all these new games and there's still so many old games that I want to play. I mean, I haven't even played a lot of the games that I want to play that I own. Oh crap, I didn't read that. Sometimes it's worth it to visit the trader camp. Okay. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Kids fitness increased, base fitness increased. So yeah, let's get on the road. So many games that I want to replay. I mean, just from a PSP era, at the moment I really want to replay um, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. But I want to play it on the PS Vita because on the PS Vita you can use two joysticks. There's a mod you can apply and then... Hmm, crap, I don't have two food. There's a mod you can apply and then... Uh, Gain the ability to use the second thumbstick for the camera. 
Okay, let's hope we get out. It's a siege, so there's going to be a ton of zombies popping out. And we're going to have to fight through them. Ooh. There we go. Can we actually get up here? No. But we can. I think we should be able to escape just now. Um, yeah, let's get out. Okay, so we just lost bear. Great. <sighs> um, okay. So, yeah, I want to play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep from PSP era. I also really want to play uh, Final Fantasy Crisis Core. So, we'll see if it comes out on console before I want to play it. Uh, let's fight the bandit. Oh boy. If it comes out on console before I want to pl or get around to playing it, then I might pick it up and play it on the Switch. Um, Let's remove the rusty machete. Let's see what's inside. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Now, yeah, otherwise, I'm also going to replay that on the PS Vita. Uh, Final Fantasy Crisis Core. And speaking of it, I, I also want to replay the old Kingdom Hearts on PlayStation 2. Maybe get it on PlayStation 3 or 4, but I think it should, would be fun if I could play it on PlayStation 2. The way it was played back when I was a kid. So yeah, that brings me to my problem with there's too many games and too many new games and I don't know which ones I want to play and which ones I should just give a skip. Because everything seems amazing these days. Oh, okay, I'm just going to focus on getting out of here alive. Some nice bullets, let's get him up. Yeah, let's grab the keys. Let's grab those, let's grab the food, there's another piece of food, we need some food, and let's close the door, they're going to break out in a second, but it's going to give us another second to get to the next point, we already went here, so, let's go. Got a nice new doggy car and we've got 12 days left okay another team member
Oh, great. So yeah, uh, and that brings me to another problem. I have owned a PlayStation 4 since 2019, 2018, yeah, 20, end of 2018, uh, and I have never played a full game on it. I've played a couple of matches of Fortnite on it, I played about half an hour of Red Dead Redemption 2. And I played about two or three hours of Fallout 4 on the PlayStation 4. I've played Fallout 4 on the PC, but yeah. My point is that I've never really played my PlayStation 4. I've got a lot of games that I want to try. I've got God of War Ragnarok. I picked up uh, Monster Hunter World the other day. I got um, the Nathan Drake collection that I want to play and the Uncharted 4 that I haven't played yet. I want to play... Uh, what else did I get? Infamous Second Son. So this is... And Final Fantasy 15. So there's quite a bunch of games that I want to play on my PlayStation 4. But... I never got around to it because hmm. this is gonna be a tough one. Let's see if we can survive. Nice amount of bullets here and some food, but yet to get any guns. Are there even any guns around here? No. We just missed ourselves. Okay, are we gonna get out of here or let's just see if there's anything around? Okay, we're gonna get out of here. Usually, running past all the zombies is much better than trying to fight all of them. And there we go. Only six food. Got a nice amount of ammo, but still no guns. And yeah, one of the main reasons I've never really played uh, PlayStation 4 games is when I uh, got mine second hand, I bought it from my brother. Um, and uh, I got it with two remotes. One of the remotes had some Joy-Con drift. Uh, there we go. Well, not really Joy-Con drift, more like if you try and turn the camera le right, then uh, yeah, you do it super slowly. Let's get ourselves a dog. Nothing in here. Food. Medical supplies, hopefully. Yeah. Those are the things we need. So, I wonder if Kid's gonna be able to make it through all the way to Canada or if we'll end up. Heading to Canada with Valkyrie, maybe. Yeah, some more food. Um. 
still no weapons. Well, got weapons, still no guns. So yeah, still no guns. We got a ton of bullets. But we fear to find one gun to use them with. Oh yeah, you can't shoot if you're a martial artist. Uh, we've got a dog following us. Animals are good companions in this game since they only eat one. Um, food usually. So, you've got an extra attacker, or extra sacrifice, and you don't need to feed them too much. Which is sad, but... So yeah, the one remote has some issues with the joystick. turns really slowly to the right, all the other directions like slightly right and up, slightly right and down, perfect. But as soon as you try and do a solid turn to the right, which you want to do a lot of times, especially in some shooting games, or 3D open world games, maybe, probably, I don't know, it's up to you. But yeah, I would like to, and I can't do that because of the remote. The other remote worked, which is the one I used to play the for to play uh, Fortnite on. But uh, yeah, recently when I tried to use it, it's R2 or no L2 button just doesn't work. So there's another remote that I can't use. Why are these remotes so crappy these days? I mean. I still have PlayStation 3 remotes that work perfectly. One. I still have one that works perfectly. And uh, my PlayStation 2 remotes still p work perfectly. The rubber has come off, but they still work. But somehow, these newer consoles, the remotes are, are so much more expensive, but they also seem so much more crappy. I mean, just look at the Joy-Cons. I've purchased, well, I haven't purchased all of them, but yes, I did purchase all of them. What I mean is like I didn't buy them separately, but in total we've gotten eight Joy-Cons. And uh, out of those eight Joy-Cons, three of them work. One of the four of them were working, and then the other day, my one Joy-Con just decided, "Hey, I don't work anymore, and it doesn't want to switch on or do anything." Team, do your thing. Let me take it out. We took care of them. Oh boy. Let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, let's get out. 
definitely gonna die. Let's go. And there we make it out of life. So yeah, Joy-Cons have gotten eight of them so far and here it is, like, it's the one that I've been using basically from the start. I've changed the cover twice. It's been working perfectly and then all of a sudden it just decides, no, I'm done. So I need to fix that. Let's recruit Butch to the team. Now we've got four members. Evangel isn't doing too well. Kid is doing quite well. Let's see if Kid is smart enough. No, everyone got hurt. Yay. Okay, and now we're on foot and we are nine days away with a car. So yeah, if it's not Joy-Con Drift, I don't know, Joy-Cons, it's kind of the weakest part of the Switch in my opinion. Like they could have just put in a little bit more effort. From Joy-Con Drift to just, they don't feel very sturdy. Okay, and let's get in back into the game. So another problem that I have with the Nintendo Switch is uh, the fact that none of my friends own one. My w one friend is into heavy into PC gaming and my other one is into PlayStation. So yeah, I don't really have many people to play a lot of Switch games with or to get excited about Switch games with except for my son and his cousin. They both play Switch, so usually when I play some multiplayer, I would be playing with them. And yeah, they are nine years old, but have you seen how good nine years old get with Fortnite? Yeah, kind of. When he started a couple of months ago, I had to keep saving him, and now he's on that level where I know that he can have my back instead of me having to save him the whole time and in fact a lot of times he saved my ass so yeah i was thinking of maybe doing a video where i try and get a victory royale with him just for fun but yeah we'll see in the future what happens Someone pick up this pistol, please. Okay, there we go. Someone got the pistol. And I got these car keys. Where else can we go? No way. Okay. You can actually, to make the game look better, we can switch off the scratch and drain. I still like the glitch effects. No, I don't want to quit. Just want to go back. And there, it looks a little bit better. And off we go. Take. 
Okay, let's try and get some medical supplies. Supplies. That's the wrong track. Let's go. So not a lot of my friends play Nintendo Switch. So um <laughs> So yeah. Uh, it's quite difficult to convince them to buy a Switch. Considering the price that Nintendo is asking for the Switch in our region, they might as well buy a PlayStation 4. Okay. Uh, I need to give you a gun. And then I need to use my chickens. Yeah, chicken buddies. In these uh, areas, you sometimes quite lucky and you find a nice stash of stuff. Other times, uh, you're lucky to make it out alive. Zombo points can be used to unlock new classes and perks, I think. Perks? But yeah, new classes at least. So yeah, my friends not owning uh, Nintendos kind of also brings me to my next point, the Nintendo Switch Online subscription. I've I got once when uh, I did the Mario Maker video try and play some online matches and uh, yeah I wasn't able to find any online matches so that was a waste after that I used it in a monster hunter to go on some adventures with some random people which was quite fun it was nice to be able to take on the tougher monsters because you had a team and uh, Yeah, other than that, I've used it here and there, but it's mostly to show something. Um, 
So yeah, it was mostly to show a point in a video or to just properly test a game for a video. So I would just sleep. So other than that, I don't really see the point in me having it. Uh, I hardly ever play the NES and SNES games. I think I might be doing a video soon about that. Okay, we've got eight days left and our fuel is almost up. And we're gonna go have some fun in the malicious. Very thick swarm size. So we gotta be careful. I'm gonna give uh, her a torch and I'm gonna give him a torch. Okay. Let's play a bit of Valkyrie. Where's Kip? Okay. Let's have Kip touch the altar. I've never found an altar before. Strength, fitness and shooting increases. But now he is messed up. Okay. So we gotta be careful. So I'm not quite sure if I, I'm going to renew my Nintendo Switch Online subscription. Probably will for the channel, so that I can test games properly. Because especially this late in the Nintendo Switch's lifespan, I don't see my friends finally going for one. I'm also not sure yet when I am going to upgrade to the next generation of consoles. At the moment I still don't see the need for it. I mean I haven't even played and enjoyed my Nintendo I mean my PlayStation 4 yet. So there's still that not so much that I need to discover there. But one of my problems as well is the fact that there are so many unfinished games being released these days. A game that you would pick up, for instance, I picked up, uh, what was that game called? Um, oh, and all of a sudden we've got some flies here. I picked up Cozy Grove when it came out. And I played it for a couple of days and really just fell out of it. It was boring. But ever since I've seen so many new updates come to the game, it makes me think maybe now would be a better time to start playing the game instead of wasting my time back then, when the game wasn't even fully completed yet, in my opinion. There's so many things that got added that should have been there from the start. 
and it's not just that game it's so many games that get released I mean Halo released without the campaign if I'm not mistaken uh, okay let's see Get in. Okay. Let's go on. How many days left to Canada? Eight days if we keep driving, but we're almost out of fuel, so we're gonna be walking soon. Okay, let's uh, see if we can survive a very busy shopping trip. This is kind of like uh, Black Friday. Yeah, not that bad. Even less people than Black Friday. back and things are gonna be a lot tougher now because it's eight o'clock and there's nothing in here and this is another door but that would be kind of weird which kind of bathroom has or which kind of room needs to go through a bathroom to get there Some nice food on the shelves. More food, more food. Smash them. More food, more food. Quite late, so we should probably start heading out. Uh, food, some more bullets. Isn't there a dustbin here somewhere? Anyways, let's get going. Everyone, follow me. Get what you need. And here we are on our way. So, you know, so many unfinished games that a lot of games feel like it's not really worth trying them out. Uh, Oh, 
well. The only person with a gun in the group is terrible with guns. Let's just die. Okay. Valkyrie, you need to carry that. Um, let's go. We made it out alive with one character. Great. So now this is no longer Kid's Adventure, now this is Valkyrie's Adventure. And I don't know where, how good her medical skills are, but I assume they're not too great. Seven days left, let's hope we find someone that can heal us. Ask George to join, let's see if George has any. Holy crap, we've got a ton of food. Now we just need to keep everyone alive. Uh, no. So now Valkyrie is dead and it's George's adventure. <laughs> what the heck did George just say? Let's hope George knows how to survive. George is dead. George is dead. And we are game over. And that's how most of your runs will go. I should not have stopped there. Let's check out the unlocks. Uh, we can unlock some perks, maybe. Natural shot. There we go. And there you have it. That's Death Road to Canada without making it to Canada. There, we'll try again another time and try and make it all the way there. I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.